these type of uh, schools and communities exist is because the people in the community are, you know, the first thing we're gonna say is like, oh, because they're wealthy. It's like, well, that's not really how strong communities are built. They're built by people who care about the community and vote and city council stuff and things of that nature. So I just want to point that out. Like, you know, a lot of people think that uh, your vote don't count. Well, your national vote don't count, but it, it can count. But at the same time, your local votes is what's going to count. City council members, chamber of commerce, school superintendents, police chiefs, sheriffs, DAs, all that kind of stuff. City prosecutors, all that kind of stuff. You know, you have to be involved with that, be involved in tune who these people are. They're all public record. Your mayor. Hey, Scott, how's it going? Good. Yeah, yeah. You got to go down where that cone is right there. Yeah, just walk down. Be careful. It's kind of kind of sandy and dirty, though. So be. Yeah. So you got to be in tune to all those people that are in charge of your money or you're not going to really know where your money's going. And and that's the difference uh, in strong communities. And that's why a lot of wealthy people, they don't want certain people in their communities and they don't want certain commerce in their communities. Like they don't want liquor stores, 7-Elevens, quick stops and quick strips and, you know, zip and goes and all those little Arco gas stations. They don't, some communities will vote that stuff out of their chamber of commerce. And they, uh, and so the city council members, they, they donate to their campaigns. And when it's time to vote for these type, type of industries and companies to come into their community, they get voted out and people say, how did they do that? Well, they did it by donating to their campaigns. Stand by if I can finish out this video, I'll let you guys go, stand by. Yeah, what it do YouTube, your boy uh, Eisen here, I'm back, man. So yeah, man, and so that's how a lot of these communities get what they want, man, is uh, by, you know, and, and see, that's the thing. A lot of uh, people that have problems in their community, the first thing you notice is they don't donate to campaigns and uh, guys, people that are running in certain positions on a campaign. And that's pretty much how it works. I mean, you got to give money to these people when they're running. So when they get in, they do what you ask. That's how politics work. That's how funding work. And that's how you get the best people in the best positions or at least people that's going to serve your interests. So I just want to get some insight. So the reason why, because it's, it's election time and what a better time to talk about something like this and explain. So when you see wealthy communities and the first thing people are going to say is like, oh yeah, they're because they got all the money. Well, of course there's going to be wealthy people in those communities that we all point and say that's the best community. But the irony is that they vote and they donate to these people's campaigns that got the power. And then when you go to lower income communities, the first thing you see is negligence by local voting, negligence by not helping and contributing to foundations to schools and things of that nature. So how do you think people get their names on all these buildings? Because they, they donate to it and they, and they get their name on the building. That's influence. You're, you, it's, it's unfortunate. I ain't trying to break nobody heart, but you got to pay for that influence to get things done in your community or your, or your uh, financial interests. So it's just something to think about. Like, you know, a lot of good neighborhoods, you're not going to find stores that can sell single bottles of beer. They're going to sell 12 packs of beer or, and it's going to be uh, micro beers and things that you won't find a 40 ounce. That's all based on people in the community on the chamber of commerce telling the city council, we don't want these kind of vendors in our neighborhood. See what I'm saying? So I just want to bring that up, man. Oh, sorry, these sunglasses. I just want to bring that up, man, because I think that's important, man, because, you know, it's, it's voting season, and I think everybody's just going to be worried about voting for the president. But the reality is that you need to be worried about your local people that's running your, your money, man. It's your boy Eisen and Tactical, man. Everybody stay blessed. Peace.